Hello Colas and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting stories. We start with young left back Alejandro Bade as it has been reported that the Barca young star could get a World Cup call up of a veteran defender for Spain, talking about Jordi Alba in this case. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this report, let me that Barcelona support of new Spanish sports law has angered several illegal clubs. We are also going to be discussing about that. So guys, before we get right into those stories, do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel, you are very welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. With the FIFA World Cup 2022 set to kick off in a little under three weeks, the excitement is starting to mount ahead of the quadrennial extravaganza. The qualified teams will soon start naming squads for that tournament, with a few nations already releasing their provisional rosters. Spain manager Luis Enrique will be keeping a close eye on proceedings over the next couple of weeks as he will be naming his final squad for the World Cup on November 10. Of the many major decisions that Lucio will have to take, the left-back position will pose a major challenge for the former Barcelona manager, given the riches that Spain have in that position. Indeed, the likes of Jose Gaia, Jordi Alba, Marcos Alonso, Marco Correa and Javi Galan are some of the options that could be in contention for a spot in the Spain squad. But according to La Rezor, another new name has been thrown into the ring and that is none other than Barcelona young star Alejandro Bade. The 18-year-old is enjoying a fine breakthrough campaign at Barca, becoming the first choice left back under Xavi Hernandez ahead of Jordi Alba and Marcos Alonso. So far, he has played 11 times in all competitions for Barcelona, registering three assists in the process. And as per the report, Enrique could decide to call Bade up for the World Cup, even though he is yet to play at the senior level for the Spanish national team. Marcos Alonso has had the least number of minutes of the three Barcelona left backs this season, and considering that he has not he was not even called up by Enrique during the last international break either. It is understood that the summer signing will not be in contention of a call up for the World Cup. One of the spots, you know, certain to be taken up by Gaia. Why Alba has picked by was picked by Enrique last month, even though he had hardly played, the manager could lean towards Bade when the World Cup arrived, owing to his greater involvement and better form. Korea is also an outside contender and it remains to be seen what Lucio decides when it comes to selecting the left backs for the FIFA World Cup. Definitely it wouldn't be surprising if Alejandro Bade is being called up by Luis Enrique for the very first time to play for the senior team in Spain heading into the World Cup. Alejandro Bade have always played but for the, the, the junior team in Spain and he's still to play for the senior team and I think when we look at his performances under Xavi the way he has been playing, impressing everybody. I think Luis Enrique have every right to call Bade for the World Cup squad. What 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 how how joyful it will be for the for the young player. Um likely if what if that happens means he will make his debut but in the World Cup. It's something that every player dreams of doing. A debut in the in the biggest stage of football. So according to this report, you know, Luis Enrique is likely to go for Bade, which would, wouldn't be that surprising considering how good he has been this season and the likes of Alonso who have not played too much and even though he's a senior left back might not be caught by Luis Enrique and he might even get a nod ahead of Jordi Alba according to this report. Alba was caught by Enrique quite a member last international break for Spain but he did not even play most of the game so it wouldn't be surprising if Bade continued to impress in this few weeks remaining before the World Cup break comes up, you know, Enrique will consider going for Bade strongly to strengthen his squad for the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Of course, as we said earlier, Spain have some good left backs out there. 
and normally any manager will be confused on who to go for who to bench and and stuff like that but i think alejandro Bade might just just get his chance this time around after you know after being one of the standout players for barcelona this season and of course we all know how enrique likes barcelona a lot some people are always saying enrique likes to pick barca player a lot like we see how gavi started last season just some first few matches gavi was impressing but enrique did not even hesitate you know answer fatty as well like enrique just like he's a barca fan enrique just like and like looking at the world cup in russia 2018 it was shocking that no real madrid player was in the squad called by enrique for the world cup so that was shocking so let's see how it's gonna look like but if things continue like that then let's count out um about the in because from the way he have been playing this season i think enrique himself will be so happy then on to the next story of discussion the upcoming verdict of the sports law that is being discussed in the sports commission of congress is said to upset a majority of the spanish clubs with a report from ser confirming that the governing body will give the green light to the decision of not having a break in spanish football interestingly enough the decision involves not only the top tier of the country's footballing circle but also the second division meaning that as many as 39 clubs will be affected by the settlement. For now, there is no official word on the same as the agreement is being voted upon in the Congress of Deputies. So if everything goes as planned, the break in Spanish football will be avoided. While the aforementioned assembly is scheduled for Thursday, there are reports that a second meeting will be held with the clubs involved, but the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid and Athletic Club will be barred. This is mainly because these three teams agree the current decision and that has angered the rest of the teams. As a result, several top tier teams are planning to go on strike on October 28 if the law is not changed. The persisting political tensions is mainly related to three factors. First, the rest of the teams are fearing the possible implementation of the European Super League. Second, the income earned from the TV rights is another issue. And lastly, the transparency between the clubs and the RFEF will also be called into question. As of now, the presidents of many La Liga teams are of the belief that their options are not taken into consideration. Or let me say their opinions, rather. Furthermore, calling out the transparency, they also feel that the only president that truly has power is Florentino Perez and that he is dictating the law, which is not correct. For now, the agreement involving the CVC Economic Fund is still being negotiated, but there is floating word that the principal agreement is already in place and this is indeed going to prevent domestic football from going into a break. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.